today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a crude free YouTuber who does a lot of makeup content and today I'm going to test some things that I'm not super comfortable with. I am going to do a no makeup makeup base. I hate that word, no makeup makeup. I'm going to do a really easy light base with no powder products, I think. And going to try to make it look neutral and like something that I can use maybe at work um, but in summer and I know this is might be boring video so I thought like I can do this to get ready with me but I just want to test some things that I'm not super comfortable with so I am going to I can show you the products that I'm thinking of using. I've done my normal skincare and I've put on sunscreen. And the base product I'm using, I'm going to use this Perfect Skin Tint from Glossier and their Stretch Concealer that I'm totally comfortable with. But then I'm going to use my contour stick. We'll see how this goes. I use this sometimes, but then I like always use a powder over it. And then I'm going to use a liquid blush and this stick highlighter from Nabla. I have done kind of this makeup uh, once. I loved it, but I didn't use any contour, so I wanted to do that. So I think we just get started. So hello and welcome to a little bit unusual video here on my channel. I think my some of you that watch me also are like maybe not afraid but when it comes to not setting my face and do with light products I'm a little bit scared. So I'm going to start with this perfect skin tint and this I sometimes use to work. It holds up pretty good. It fades away so you don't see like it fades away so I'm going to apply this with my hands. Just there we I don't like to do that. I never do that except with this one. So I'm going to do that. So I just have to shake it and I have in the color G12. I think I have that in the stretch conceal as well. Yes. And like skin tints. I just want to buy more and more. So I'm applying this directly to my face and I usually start in my forehead with like maybe this amount and then I'm working it in. I am maybe it's taking a little bit too much <laughs> i like skin tints and this one is my favorite because it's so it has such a light coverage and i took way too much and uh, it is there but you like can't see it but it doesn't look strange with like a blush and a highlighter on but I don't know when this video is coming up it should all should be released and that is Nabla's new uh, what the hell was it called? Yeah, they are releasing a skin tint and <laughs> I'm going to buy it because I really love Nabla but like their foundation is um full coverage foundation or medium to full coverage and it doesn't like sound like anything for me so I'm so happy that they are releasing a skin tint and I'm going to buy it I'm actually thinking of buying it on release date from Nabla I haven't decided yet because if I buy it from Nabla's own site there is now customs for me because they are in Italy and Beauty Bay, the UK. It's not in. I have to pay taxes for that. Okay, maybe I should have taken a before picture. Oopsie. So, something like this. I, I really like the skin tint. I think it looks really good. It just like evens out, but it not covers. I just love it and it like doesn't feel anything on my skin 
So then I'm going in with a stretch concealer and this I use almost every day to work. And I put my fingers in it, even though I know you shouldn't, but I do it. And this is not like a full coverage. And I have some... I <laughs> did a black smoky eye. And... Uh, yeah, I still have some black, so it will not cover that, I think. And I also... Maybe if I should try to have this as a get red with me, but... <laughs> I think I can't, because I want to talk about what I'm doing. So far, so good. The only little complaint I have with this stretch concealer... If I want to use mascara now, I need to set it, because it dissolves the mascara for me. So this I use at work, because... I don't wear mascara to work. So okay, so far I'm comfortable, I know what I'm doing and it's no problem, but it's no. I don't know if I, do I want to use brushes? I think I need to use brushes, but maybe I should only use my sponge. Okay, so now we're going in for on a new territory. I just need to take a little comforting uh, Pepsi. And you know what this is for kind of glass? This is my Julian glass. If you want to trailer park boys, you know exactly what I mean. If you haven't, watch it. So okay, I'm going in with this uh, Nip and Fab. Nip and Fab uh, Fix Sticks Definition in Cold taupe because okay this is what i'm a little bit afraid of because when i normally use this i put powder over and like tone it down a little bit but i'm not going to do this that today so i think i'm just going to dab it i don't want to look like i don't even know what i want to say I want it to look natural and not like I have put poo on my face. I think that is a little bit what I'm afraid of. Yeah. And I should because this looks like poo. And it's now like I can't hide behind a powder. And that scares me a little bit. And I'm afraid that I'm picking up the skin tint underneath. It looks better on this side than on this side. I'm trying to see in the viewfinder if you can see it. I don't know, but here it looks good. Here it does not. Okay, so on to the blush. I'm going to take this one. This is from Lumiene. It's their Invisible Illuminating Watercolor Blush in the color Pink Bloom. And I have... I just have to shake this. I have from Glossier too, but they are more like cream blush, I think. This is really, really liquidy. And I don't know if I want to use a brush to this, but I don't think so. The problem is with like products like these, I see people use them with their fingers and it looks fucking amazing. And then I'm trying to do it and it looks like I've smeared poo or something on my face and now I took too much. Okay, so if I take on two of my fingers and like just dab it on here. And I think it's so hard when I'm using my fingers like where am I usually putting my blush? I don't know. Okay. And the one thing like I am a little bit afraid of when I'm using this light coverage is that um, my skin will peek through too much so it will look a little bit like strange. I don't know. <laughs> like the only thing I see with people using 
like this liquid blush and stuff they only do like in little Instagram reel or something but like I need instructions I really do and it's so like I know it's not fair to the products to have like studio lighting on because when you're doing makeup under studio lights or with studio lights you can usually put on much more um, than you can in normal cases but yeah okay so on to the last la last thing <laughs> on to the last face thing this is a Nabla highlighting stick they don't have this anymore I don't know why they didn't keep this because this is amazing this is the color surreal it is it has like a pink tint to it and I do really really like this and the one thing I really like about this I have another highlighting stick from my hair um, Colourpop but this is so much better the one with color, color pop, you like need to really work into the skin. I think with this one, I can just take this and put it on. Maybe they did take this out of their... I think this was maybe a holiday collection. But maybe they were like, okay, we have find something that is super amazing and nobody would would want to buy another highlighter, so we have to take it out. I don't know. But it's so nice. Okay, this maybe turns out a little bit too much. I think I took the product a little bit like... close to my the middle of my face. Actually, it feels like in the viewfinder that it looks like I blush onto here. And maybe I have. So, I will put on my brows and I actually start to use a new brow thing or an old brow thing but a new brow thing when I do my makeup because I don't want such defined brows but when I don't have any other makeup I want my brows to be more defined, defined, definition, have more definition to them, I don't know why. But, as you see, I do not have that much color in my brows. Now I think I still have a little, since I lost dye them. And like this trend with bleached brows is a trend that I will never understand. Maybe because I have it on my own. So I'm taking... I'm taking this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's their Deep Brow Made. Um, brow Made Duo. <laughs> Deep Brow Made. That is not. This is the Brow Powder Duo. In taupe. And it's like... Can you see? I'm almost out of the light one. I wonder if it's possible to buy only the light one. And you see what a difference it makes with filling in my brows. Sometimes when I don't do my brows I feel like a kid. And when I have to... I bought some aspirin and you have to be 18 in Sweden to buy them. And I think it maybe was... Two years ago, I was going to buy some aspirin and I didn't have my brows on and they sh asked for my ID because they thought that I was 17. So, and then I'm also going to take this one, this is a brow mascara because I have such long brow hairs and if I don't use anything to set them with brow hairs are going to lay down so and then I'm going to use a setting spray and I'm just using this one and for the last thing I'm going to take a lipstick and I'm going to use this from 
Lina Hallberg, this is famous. This is one of my favorite like lipsticks that I use sometimes with no other makeup. And this is SPF 15. I really like this. This is neutral with a little bit of grunge to it. So okay, what do I think about this? I think I like it. <laughs> studio lighting i don't know how it looks in real lighting natural lighting but i like it in studio lights the only thing i can feel is that my eyelashes are a little blonde not the whole lash but like in the ends of the lashes so it looks like i don't have any eyelashes or super small eyelashes that is like the only thing I won't like but other than that and maybe I took a little bit too much of the highlighter but I couldn't stop myself but other than that just need the mirror I think I really like it I think it looks really like neutral and uh, I don't look cakey maybe I can zoom you in a little bit can I do that do I want to do that? But like, as you can see, it doesn't look like I have makeup on. I'm guessing because I don't... Oh my god, I have a light. I guess it's because I don't have any powder. It looks really like... Natural. And if I would have taken it a little bit more easy with a highlight, I think it would look really like... I don't know just a nice glowy base but yeah that was my little adventure into liquid and creamy base I have a little hard time with the blush but like I love when people just put it on with their fingers and I want to be good at it at and I know that I need to do it to be good at it but other than that and yeah okay the contour wasn't the best either but a good try and i like it and i hope that you like this video i know it's not like any kind of videos i usually do but i think maybe i will look like this some days now when the summer comes and i just want something easy because this goes really really fast and like this i think i would use so much and i all oh and I already used this so much. So yeah. Do you want me to test out more things like this? Because I have a lot of like Linda Harberg lipsticks. And they are supposed to be both highlighter and blush as well. So if you want me to test more things out. Or do you know what? Maybe I just want to do it. So maybe I just do it. And just try for like a little adventure. I wonder how it would look if I put on an eyeshadow now, like a crazy eyeshadow. I wonder if that would look good to this base. Because this is, I do not usually do a cakey base, but I can like feel my base. This I can't feel like at all. But I wonder, I'm not that sticky actually. Maybe if I would lie down, I will transfer, but it's not like I'm afraid that I'm going to get makeup everywhere. But okay, <laughs> I really hope you liked this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. I usually play a lot more with eyeshadows. Maybe I should try to use some eyeshadows with this. Or is that too much right now? Maybe it is. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!